Hello everyone, I am Soji Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Today's the aim of the experiment is a study of polytin chromosome from Chironomas larvae. The scientific name of this larvae is a Chironomas plumosus. First of all, we should know about the classification of this particular species. It falls under the kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Diptera, Family Chironomidae, Genus Chironomas, and Species Plumosus. If we study about some species or dissection, even anything, we should know about the classification that I have told you now. Now, after that, the principle of this experiment. You can see that a polytene chromosome are most commonly found in a salivary gland. As our experiment is on about a study of polytene chromosome, so polytene chromosome are most commonly found in salivary gland of some dipteran larvae and some ciliate. Now these chromosomes are generated by successive replication of a homologous chromosome set without the separation of the replicated chromosome. Replication you know that it is uh, about uh, the um, formation of uh, Du uh, duplicated uh, or um, duplication of uh, some original form. The if you want, the you can know. I am um, if uh, I take the example that DNA DNA rep uh, replication. The DNA if I take a DNA sample, uh, it can replication means uh, to develop same copy of that template DNA to form new DNA. It is known as replication. Means like a, you can see the Geox copy of the original form. Now, these chromosomes are exceptionally large. These polytin chromosomes are exceptionally large and can be visualized under the microscope. If we observe in the microscope, we can see that. Polytin chromosomes are formed when DNA replication takes place. When there is a DNA replication, then only the polytin chromosome will be formed, otherwise not. There should be DNA replication. Multiple tissues without daughter chromatid undergo separation. Now for this experiment, we required some of the material. The requirements that uh, number one, Chironomas larvae. Because we study about the polytin chromosome, the polytin chromosome present in larvae, so we should uh, expose the larvae from the, that particular, uh, we should expose the polytin from that particular uh, larvae. We should take out. So we need chironomas larvae. Then needle, third forcep, a slide, and cover sleeve we need, saline water, acetocarmine stand, microscope. Now these are the other requirements, these are the requirements. Now the procedure, how we perform it. First of all, the chironomas larvae for a pond or drain was obtained or collected. After that, the head region was pulled with the forceps. With the help of the forceps, the head region will be pulled because this uh, salivary gland, under the salivary gland, the polytin chromosomes are present. So we should expose this uh, salivary gland, then only the polytin can be observed. And the polytin is this uh, chrome, 
present in the salivary gland and that salivary gland is present near the head region is present in the head region so with the help of the forceps the head region is pulled then only this uh, salivary gland will be exposed sir. this is done in the slide we should do it in slide after this collected from a phone then it will cap in the slide then with the help of forceps then we pull the, the head region then then thus you can see the salivary gland uh, were exposed after that the gland were placed on a stained with uh, aceto uh, carmine and uh, quas technique was applied after the expose of this uh, uh, gland salivary gland then in that slide we will uh, give the aceto carmine stain after stain then we will place the cover slip then quas technique was applied means uh, quas technique means we should press above um, uh, with the help of this uh, uh, pencil which have the tip rubber which have the rubber at the tip then press with that uh, then we uh, press that now uh, it will uh, the properly it will uh, expose the polythene chromatin will be exposed uh, from the salivary gland then after that uh, the giant chromosome under the microscope was observed and stained you can see the giant chromosome now some of the comment you can see that uh, balbini g1 scientist in uh, 1881 published uh, account of giant chromosome from uh, salivary gland of chironomus larvae uh, because of their large size the 100 to 150 mm these are called giant chromosome because it is a uh, 100 to 150 mm long so uh, large so these are can uh, these are called giant chromosome now these giant chromosomes are called polytene that giant chromosomes are called polytene due to their uh, uh, characteristic bending pattern if we observe uh, in microscope this giant chromosome you can see that are called uh, polytene the polytene it is present is bending pattern is if you if we see the bending pattern uh, then we can say it is a polytene now cross bending are very distinct under this microscope polytene chromosome of diptera represent which spread phenomenon of endopolyploidy now it is identification identification we will uh, know about after this uh, when the experiment is done there's a since the above chromos uh, chromosomes have giant size and bended appearance uh, they are uh, giant chromosomes uh, they, this identification we will uh, uh, mean separate um, see when we'll uh, perform the experiment uh, using this chromo kyanomas larvae so these are some information we should know uh, you, you can also write it uh, in your notebook so now we will perform the experiment a few moments later this is a acetocarmine stain this Slime water, the needle, dropper, chironomus, larva, forceps, and a slide cover slip. I have already kept one chironomus larva in the slide after collecting from a pond, pond, especially pond. So these are the requirements that I've already set. So now, now with this help of the dropper, I will uh, remove the excess water from the slide. Now, I will only give one drop of saline water to 
to kill that this larva it take few minute you can see after giving this uh, slime water this larva movement is slow down so it is used so with the help of this uh, forceps you can pull the head region before that you remove excess this slime water now as my uh, camera quality is uh, less uh, this fully zoomed so this corporate you can see with the help of this force now use this uh, needle and press it in this is the head side and slowly remove So remember the in head side only this uh, salivary gland is present you can see more small left the this excess part remove it this is small head part not required in this side you have this uh, polyten uh, this salivary gland fully exposed so this is a uh, not required only this part you can see now give uh, this uh, acetocarmine stain and the slide will cover slip will be placed over it now with the help of this uh, you can see this pen pencil the rubber tip is present now with this rubber press it uh, so that uh, the salivary gland can be exposed well can see I have press and I hope you uh, have understood how to do it so I press it with the help of this pencil and uh, I think you have not observed but in uh, this camera but some uh, but uh, you can see uh, uh, the salivary gland small amount exposed uh, and you can see in a uh, under microscope then you can understand properly so I will show you the photo under the microscope how it it will appear you can see this is under microscope so you can see these are the polyethylene.
these are the these are the polyton chromosome this you can see these are the polyton chromosome this bending patterns you can see this bending patterns you can see my touch screen you can see these are the bending patterns these are the polyton chromosomes you can see these are the polyton chromosome more it can expose in uh, in this part you can see more in uh, here some of this uh, bending you can see bending so you can see this as much one bending so that you can see these are the long you can see these are the long you can see these are the long these are the larger polyton chromosome you can see polyton this is under the microscope more images you can see this is a head part no not required this is um, photo is not clear i can will show moon next one you can see you can see this this you can see these are the polytins chromosome i hope you all understand sir, today's uh, experiment so i hope you have no doubt uh, about this experiment and uh, you can do it in a in your practical exams uh. so if you like my video give a like comment and share with your friends uh. to more uh, to know more subscribe it and uh, today's you can to in uh, about today you can see today videos uh, in this way uh, many videos will be available uh, and you can get the notification if you subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, today's uh, video there will be some question from today i will uh, um, give uh, questions uh, in my youtube channel and you can uh, vote it uh, after 100 uh, or uh, 500 uh, vote uh, i will give an answer and you can see who are if you are giving correct then you are correct uh, then you mention your names in a comment box that your answer is correct uh, if you're not then try in next uh, uh, question vote it in this way uh, you can 